Let's spend a few minutes to talk about what the Senior Capstone Project is and how you can get started. A Senior Capstone Project is an independent, student-led research project. It's a, it's a project that you choose the topic that you want to study and will carry it out over the course of a single semester. So the first step is selecting a topic and figuring out um, a really narrow and specific research question that you could feasibly examine in just a single semester. We'll also conduct a literature review, so we'll review existing scientific literature published in journal articles and books to figure out what exactly have other people found when they've studied this question and what might be something new that you could examine that hasn't been previously explored. Once you conduct a literature review and select a topic, the, the next step involves choosing a, a, method, a methodology, so a research method that you could collect data and then analyze it to produce a set of findings. And you'll have to choose and write about this research method and your methods for analyzing the data that you collect. You'll go out and you'll collect this data for your capstone project and then analyze it and write a summary of your research findings. And the final step is discussing your findings in the context of previous literature. So what is new from your project findings that maybe adds or builds upon what other people have found in the past. So what does this idea of a capstone um, project come from? Where, where does the term capstone come from? A capstone is a kind of maybe something that you'll carry out at the very end of your college career. And a capstone project really builds on the different courses that you've taken in the sociology major. So by now you've taken multiple theory classes, multiple classes on research methods. And you've also taken courses within your specialization area, whether that's uh, families and intimate relationships, uh, health and inequalities in health and healthcare outcomes, or criminology. You've developed uh, specialization in a specific uh, area of study. And a capstone project takes that special area of study, it takes your expertise and research methods, and it also allows you to bring in social theory to and puts that all together into a single project. So you'll have to choose a special topic, you'll have to situate that topic within the context of existing social theory, um, and then use various research methods to collect data and analyze that data to produce some new knowledge. What is the, what is the benefit of doing a capstone project? Some of the ways that a capstone project might help you is to explore a sociological topic in depth that really genuinely interests you and that perhaps you haven't had the opportunity to explore in the past. You'll also develop your skills as a writer and an analytic thinker. Um, this is a, the capstone project involves writing a longer uh, paper over the course of a semester. We'll work on multiple drafts of that paper over the course of the semester. And so this might be one of, some of your most polished uh, academic work in your college career. And the final product, the final paper, could serve as a writing sample for prospective employers and even for graduate school applications if you choose to go down that route. There are a few different pieces of a capstone project. Um, there's it, the first step that we'll do over the next few weeks is choosing a topic and writing a research question. Uh, we'll then um, figure out what's important about that research question and figure out why it's, uh, we'll make a statement, we'll, we'll write a statement about why it's important to examine that research question. Then we'll go out and search the existing literature for books and articles about the topic and summarize them. We'll also uh, summarize social theory related to the topic. And then we'll dive into um, some of the different research methods that we can use to collect and analyze data on that topic. So we'll have to write a description of our methods for data collection and analysis. We'll spend a few weeks collecting data, and then we'll spend a few weeks analyzing that data and writing up the results. We'll finally um, discuss our findings in the context of existing literature. We'll think about uh, what the limitations of our project are, 
uh, what new information it adds, and where we might go from there in terms of future research. At the very end of the semester, we'll prepare a, a poster presentation and use the uh, 3MT format or the three minute thesis to um, share our findings with each other. So how do I get started? Where is the, the best place to start? Um, what you want to do is find a topic that you're genuinely interested in studying and try to develop a few uh, slices of that topic, some narrow and specific research questions that relate to the topic that you're interested in studying. And in thinking about the topics um, that you're interested in studying, some one of the places to start is to just think about the different courses uh, that you've taken over the course of your college career, what topics have you studied in the past, and what has really interested you the most. And that's really the most important thing, is that your capstone project should be something that you're really passionate about and that you would really just genuinely enjoy spending time studying because we're gonna work on this project over the next several months. And it, it's, it will really help you, um, especially in the more challenging parts of this project, to choose a topic that genuinely interests you. And so I really want to encourage you to do that. 